in this question the graph of the derivative function y equals f prime of x okay the derivative function is given and we are asked to answer the questions about the function okay this is the graph of derivative function f prime and all the questions are about f first find all the critical numbers of f that means find the x values where the derivative is zero okay so this is the derivative function so the derivative becomes zero at negative two because this is the zero level anything above zero is positive below is negative so at negative two so x equals negative two and one because the derivative is zero there so these are the critical numbers next on what intervals is the graph of f increasing or decreasing for this we need to do a little interval test so the domain of the function is all real numbers negative infinity through positive infinity because this graph is everywhere because this is f prime but f will be also the same now we divide the this domain into several intervals using these critical numbers so negative two and one in fact we have three intervals to test and we test the sign of derivative and we conclude about the function okay uh, so for any number in between negative infinity and negative two negative infinity and negative two this derivative is above the x-axis okay so derivative has positive values so we put positive negative two to one the derivative has positive values still and one through positive infinity so derivative is below the x-axis so negative okay derivative positive means the function is increasing increasing negative means decreasing so we answer that here f is increasing on negative infinity through negative two and negative two through one so we can go all the way negative infinity through one and f is sorry decreasing now decreasing on 1 through positive infinity okay next find the x value at which f has a maximum local maximum or minimum okay that's the local f has a local max or min and identify okay so this is a critical number but f prime is positive to positive so the function is increasing increasing so this critical number is does not have any local max or mean in this case one on the left of one the function is going up then down going up and down so we have the top of the hill so local maximum so local maximum at x equals one and no local mean no local mean okay let's move to the next question now we want to answer we want to find the intervals where the graph of the function is concave up or concave down again we need to do the interval test but this time with second derivative so negative infinity through positive infinity and we want to do with the second derivative now we want to find the x values where the second derivative is zero okay this is the graph of first derivative that means the derivative of this function is second derivative okay if we find the derivative of this curve we find the second derivative and look at this turning point negative two and zero these are the turning points so here and here if we draw tangent line the slope of tangent line at these two points will be zero that means the derivative of first derivative second derivative is zero at negative two so second derivative is zero at negative two and at zero so these are the candidates for x coordinates of possible inflection points okay now we want to test the sign of second derivative on these three intervals okay all the way from negative infinity through negative two 
all the way negative infinity through negative 2, the first derivative is decreasing. Okay, first derivative is decreasing. That means derivative is negative. The derivative of this function, which is second derivative, so the second derivative is negative. So here, second derivative is negative, second derivative is 0. Now the first derivative increasing, this is increasing, that means second derivative is positive and decreasing, second derivative is negative. Okay, on this interval, it's negative, positive, negative. Okay. Now we can conclude about the function. Second derivative negative means the function is concave down. Second derivative positive means concave up, minus means concave down. So we write f is concave up on negative 2 to 0. f is concave down on and get down here here so negative infinity through negative 2 and 0 through infinity okay finally we need to state the x coordinates of the inflection points uh, negative 2 look at the left of negative 2 concave down concave up concave down concave up the concavity changes at negative 2 so that's the x coordinate of the inflection point same thing here the concavity changes from concave up to concave down so zero these are the inflection points i mean the x coordinates of the inflection points